This episode of Shot Mechanics is brought to you by Crossover Intelligence. Simply upload your game footage and have the crossover professionals break down the different plays in the game. They'll even make you a highlight tape with the clips you chose. So to help the show, click the link in the description and check them out. I'm Coach Colin Castello with ShotMechanics.com and this is the LeBron James Power Dip. Now the power dip is an awesome move that LeBron James uses all the time and he's kind of perfected it in the last couple years. It's a perfect move because not only does it give him extra separation to get off a shot, but also most of the time draws a foul on his defender. So because not only do you get separation, but you also draw fouls, this move is perfect for defenders even if they're bigger or smaller than you. All right, before we break it down, if you like what we do, show us a little love with a like, comment, or a subscription. Everything helps our channel grow and we couldn't be more thankful. All right, so let's break down the move and be on the lookout for the three main keys that'll help you execute this move. The LeBron James Power Dip is brought to you by Crossover. Click the link in the description to check out more. So this move begins as LeBron James beats his man to the basket. It works best if your defender is running hip to hip next to you, that way they're out of position. So the first key is that you want to launch off of your inside foot. This makes it look less like LeBron James is initiating the contact and makes it look like it's more of a foul on the defender. The next thing you want to do is initiate the contact early. It works best if you can draw contact before your defender has a chance to jump. This will catch them out of position and make it easier for the referee to call a foul against them. So the last thing you want to do is focus through the contact and find your target that you're aiming at. You can't go wrong with locking your eyes on the top corner of the square and then putting the ball softly off of it. All right, so remember, there are three main keys to keep in mind when you're doing this move. Number one, you want to jump off of your inside foot. That way it creates a more natural power and it doesn't look like you're jumping into the defender as much, drawing that offensive foul. Key number two is you want to create that contact early. It's really important that you create that contact before your defensive player can get set. This is really important because it puts your defender out of position. And so when the refs need to make a call, they really can only call it on the defender. Finally, key number three, you need to focus with your eyes through contact, find your target as soon as you possibly can and put the ball on point. You'll see sometimes that a lot of guys forget to aim the ball after the contact and just kind of throw it off the backboard. So really focus through that contact, find your target and put it in. All right, I'm Coach Colin Castella and I wanna thank you again for coming and watching. And remember, you can help us out by checking out Crossover at the link below or liking, sharing, and favoriting our videos. You can also stick around to our end slide for recommended videos that you're gonna love. You cats are awesome, now go into beast mode and get some buckets.